Hi, I'm Rebecca Waker and I'm the Subject Advisor for Languages at Pearson Ed Excel. In this video, I'm going to take you through the most important areas of the Pearson Ed Excel Languages pages and make sure you're aware of all of the services and resources that we have on offer. First up are our qualification pages where you'll find the specifications and sample assessments, some teaching and learning materials and our past exam papers. First off, finding our specifications and sample assessments. Now this is fairly straightforward. You can navigate straight to this page or go to the Pearson's qualification website and find it via subjects and languages here. Now once you're here, you'll always see this carousel which has the most up-to-date news. So as you can see, we've got getting ready to teach this new specification, the latest update, the speaking windows and how to apply to be an examiner. On the right hand side over here, you'll see our qualifications. You navigate to the qualification that you are interested in. So we will use French 2024 specification. And from this page where you can see the specification here, we go to course materials, this box on the right hand side and click on specification and sample assessments. From here, you can see exactly that, the specification and the sample assessment material here. Now, as well as the sample assessment material, you may wish to use other materials for assessing your students. If we go back, I'll show you, we can find in teaching and learning materials, and then here in specimen assessment materials, you have another sample set of papers. This is especially beneficial as there won't be any past papers until this assessment has been first sat in 2026. You'll see that these are locked and that means they can only be accessed by people with an Edexcel online account. If you haven't got one of these set up yet, please speak to your exams officer and they'll be able to support you. Whilst we're on the teaching and learning materials page, I'll take the opportunity to show you around. In this section here, there are classroom tests. At the moment, we have dictation and read aloud tasks available for both foundation and higher. In guides, there are lots of different things, including our new comprehensive support guide, which I'll quickly show you here, which has links to absolutely everything you might want to know about our GCSE 2024 qualifications. I won't go through this entire thing because it will take quite a while, but it should be your first stop if you're looking at anything to do with the new qualifications. I'd suggest not downloading this and always coming back to the link as it will be updated when there's more to see. Carrying on, we have any announcements that we've made such as our reading and listening exam scheduling, some survey results, our student and parent guides to the new GCSEs, options evenings resources and lots more. Beyond this, we have our mapping documents to the 2016 AQA and Edexcel specifications to support you with transition between the old and new. All of our training content that has been run so far, the slides will be here. Our schemes of work, which you don't have to follow, but they are there for you as a starting point if you would like. The specimen assessment materials I've already shown. Our teacher support, such as our frequently asked questions, which much like the comprehensive support document, will be regularly updated. So I'd suggest accessing via the link rather than a download. And our guides to each paper, as well as the vocabulary and grammar guides. And finally, a vocabulary section, where you can find all of our different kinds of vocabulary resource. When it comes to past exam materials, I of course can't show you these related to the new specification because there aren't any yet. Those will be on the page after the first assessment in 2026. But so you know how to access them in the future, I'll use the 2016 specification for this. So in the same way as you have done before, you'd navigate to the specific qualification page that you're looking for. And over here in course materials, you'll see we have this additional link taking us through to exam materials. 
the exam materials page you will see that the most recent exams are locked with this silver padlock that I explained earlier but any older than a year will be unlocked ready for you to use. As you can see there are a lot of files here by the time you've taken into account the speaking materials, the modified papers, various mark schemes, question papers, examiner's reports etc across all four skills so you can use this over here to help you find what you're looking for. So you can just filter by examiner's reports and June 2023 and paper 1H for example and that will come up here. So you don't need to search through those big long lists to find what you're looking for. You can also search by format so if you're looking for listening files very easily you can click on mp3 and you know that when you click on the drop down the mp3 files will be there including those 25% extra time recordings. Our training is found on the Pearson Professional Development Academy website so the next thing we'll do is take a look at this page. As I mentioned before all of our training is found on the Pearson Professional Development Academy website if you search up here, if you know exactly what you're looking for, then that may help. So if I search for speaking, for example, speaking would come up, but as well as giving us GCSE 2016, it's given us some international A-level and maths uh, and religious studies. So this might not be the quickest way to find what you're after. So if we go back to the beginning, we can filter. So we filter down to UK qualifications and we'll pick languages here and you may also want to filter down as far as key stage 4 if you're not interested in A-level and then if you want to you can also filter uh, by type of learning method so face to face, online anytime, online scheduled etc. So now I'm down to 30 results here. If I was to use this box and put speaking in again it will only find speaking within those 30. So here are six speaking related courses. But of course these are all related to our 2016 specifications um, so you will want to make sure you see the training that is relevant for you. So if I go back and just show you here this one for example our drop-in clinic sessions you can see they're 45 minutes long they're running on multiple dates and they are scheduled online so if I wanted to sign up I would click here I'd be able to read a little bit more about this session and then I'd click register sign in to sign up for this event. Further training and support can be found on YouTube on the Pearson UK Educators channel. Now there are so many videos on here from so many different subject areas it might be more tricky to find what you're after just by scrolling if you click here and search and say for example it was the speaking exam you were interested in you could put that in the search and we've got GCSE here we've got bite-sized videos that I created on the A-level speaking exam more A-level here this for the new GCSE etc so there's plenty of different ways of finding what you are looking for you could narrow this down even further by putting GCSE of course and that would just give you GCSE. So YouTube is another way of finding training on demand. There are further platforms and services that you should be aware of including edX and online, results plus, exam wizard and the mocks and moderation services. edX online is our self-service portal for the administration of exams. The logins used for this portal are also the ones you need for accessing padlocked material like I showed you earlier in the video. Exams officers have these accounts set up by Pearson and they are then able to create accounts for others in their centre. So if you need a login, please speak to the exams officer in your school. You will also need the Pearson Authenticator app on your phone so that you can log in. This is a really important step in ensuring that exam papers, results and other student data are kept safe. There's some information on edXL online here and your exams officer should be able to support you too. Results Plus is a great free tool that you can use for results analysis. 
It lets you see a detailed breakdown of your student's performance so you can see where the strengths and areas for development lie. You can also use this to compare groups or even compare your cohort to the Pearson Ed Excel national averages. There's so much to this tool, it's really worth exploring this page to find all the relevant guides and instructions. As you can see, there's an overview video here, links for logging in, step-by-step -step guides, and even more, helping you to use this platform to really get the most out of it. You may not already be aware of our mocks and moderation services. These are paid for services to support you with preparing your students for their exams. In the mock cervix, we provide the paper and these are returned to us for marking. We upload the results to Results Plus for you to analyse. With the moderation service, we moderate a sample of papers that you've already marked and supply commentaries and reports to support your understanding of the mark scheme. On this page, you can learn more about these services, place an order or request a call from one of the team. The final platform to introduce you to is Exam Wizard. This allows you to browse past papers and build your own. Once you've selected the qualification you need, you can then filter. Like this. We go to build a paper. Once this is loaded, we say we're interested in GCSE 9 to 1. And then, for example, we could select here that we're interested in Spanish Unit 1. I could say exactly which specification or which tier, so maybe I only want foundation questions from 23 and 22. I don't need to select much else here. I could choose a specific type of question if I wanted, like a multiple choice question. And then once I click on search, all of my options appear here. Now, if I took this first one as my example, I could view the question. I have the question, I have the mark scheme, the examiner's report, and also the audio resource here. And if you noticed when I was on mark scheme, we could also see the transcript. So everything you need will be here. You'll then be able to add this to your paper. Once you've added everything you'd like to the paper, you'll be able to download the paper and download the audio files that accompany it. The Pearson Schools and Colleges website is where you'll find our resources and the people who can support you with them. This is the Pearson Schools and FE Colleges page. On this page, you can click up here on the question mark in the top right hand corner. This will allow you to get help from our team. We can also make this specific to languages by going subjects and modern languages from this page clicking on that same question mark. At this point there are a number of options here but we're going to look at how to find your local consultant. If you search in your area, I'm just going to click Barking and Dagenham as an example, these people come up. You can click on them to find out a bit more. So if I click on Julia here, this tells us that this is for languages departments and Julia can support with that. So you can book an online meeting with her or send an email. If you were to click through these other ones, it will tell you about our different members of our team and what they work with. So this is for Science and Humanities, or here as well. And then here, if you're already a Pearson Ed Excel customer, this is who you would need to support from. So this is for new to Pearson Ed Excel, and this is for those already with us. So we'd click here tells you this is your account advisor for MFL and Humanities, so again you can book an online meeting or send an email. It's easy to find out more about our resources from this same page that you were already on. Now you've navigated to Modern Languages, you can see our featured resources and also our intervention and revision resources. and the resources that we are now classing as older collections in our catalogue. So let's say we're interested in the new GCSE uh, German, the Edexcel specification, we could go here and learn more. 
Once we're on this Learn More page, we can find out a lot more information. So there's an overview here, including our resources guide, your frequently asked questions, lots of information about the design of our books and other resources, another link on getting in touch and a way to find samples. And you can click through these tabs for structure and how our resources work, schemes of work, etc. Information about our Active Hub and our revised series. So there's lots of information on this website. At this point, you can also click through to buy and everything you will need is here. There's also a whole host of free resources to inspire your students of all ages. I'll show you where you can find those on our website now. We have a great range of permission to speak resources. So first I'll show you where to find them and then I'll tell you a bit more about them. From the Pearson website, as shown here, you'll need to navigate to school. Then click on educators in the secondary school area. And then scroll down here and find modern languages. There's lots to explore branching off of this page, but for now, let's head to Why Languages Matter. And then here to Diversity and Inclusion. From here, we can then explore the series. At this point, it's a really good idea to bookmark this page because you're going to want to keep coming back as we add more resources. So these resources have been made as part of our work with the Association for Language Learning Decolonised Special Interest Group. The aim is to illuminate the hidden stories of marginalised people and cultures. Each resource focusing on background to the topic, key discussions and activities to complete in French, Spanish and German. If we scroll this page, we can see the collection and perhaps in a moment we can pick one to open and explore further. I'll scroll through all of these so that you can see the different headings here for an idea of the types of resource we have on offer. As you can see, some are separate per language and some are combined. So that's everything we've got on offer. I'm going to go right back to the top and have a look at our most recent one. And this one is on comics. And here, if we scroll back up to the top. Lovely, engaging looking resource here. An introduction here in English. Some more information in English here. And then already a vocabulary activity in the three languages that we're working with. The French section and in this French section we can see a text, we're looking for the translation in the text, some grammar questions, some comprehension activities and an activity to do with a poster here as well. A bit more French with a gap fill activity here, some translation, some research some matching up here and also a link through to Quizlet as well, a link through to a YouTube tutorial and some further discussion points. And then as you can see, it continues in Spanish and German as well. So there's really a lot to explore in this series and I hope that you really enjoy using them with your students. As we near the end of this video, I have another set of free resources to show you. We set off again from this page that we found earlier on, and this time we scroll down to the section on our 2024 resources. Click here on Explore More. Once again, there are multiple pages to explore from here, but we are going to select Languages in Life. On this page, you'll find various resources, so posters for your classroom, blogs from experts to support your teaching, our real life series where you can share with students the thoughts and experiences of those who use languages in their day-to-day -day lives, 
we've teamed up with MFL Mentoring, so these stories are coming from people that the students can really relate to. I couldn't possibly show you examples of every resource in this video, so it was really best for you to explore for yourselves. Again, make sure you bookmark this page so you can keep returning to it. All that remains in this video is for me to make sure that you're fully aware of where you can find the support that you need. If we return to the language page where we started today, we can find this green box here. This has all the contact details that you might need to get in touch with us about our qualifications. Here's my email address, teachinglanguages at pearson.com. You can call us and speak to a member of our teaching services team. Connect with me on LinkedIn, book a one-to-one -one meeting with me on Teams, sign up to my subject advisor updates, and join our Pearson Ed Excel Languages Qualification Support Group on Facebook. I hope that you found this video helpful and that it's covered everything that you need to know, as well as perhaps some new things that you weren't expecting. Please do get in touch if there's anything else I could support you with.